today we're going to be making these very easy and delicious lemon pie bars. The ingredients are very few and easily available. So we're going to be needing about two cups of crushed plain biscuits. You can use Mari biscuits, graham crackers, one cup of melted butter, 200 milliliters of condensed milk, 250 milliliters of fresh cream and one fourth cup of lemon juice. So let's begin making this amazing lemon pie bars. Now I'm going to start by first taking a cake tin which has a removable base 8 by 8 and I'm going to apply some butter and then I'm going to apply, uh, uh, lay some butter paper or parchment paper and be sure that the sides of the pan also are very well lined with the paper. Uh, this is going to help in uh, creating a nice lemon pie with a good uh, biscuit base. Now the next thing is to take about 20 to 25 or 30 Mari biscuits or graham crackers enough to give you two cups of this coarse mixture. Now what we're going to do is taking a rolling pin and we're going to put these biscuits in a ziploc bag or any plastic bag and seal the bag or close the bag and then just give it a good beat and then you can also roll over it but we want a very coarse base. Uh, you can put it in the mixer, but if, it, if you know it's done like this, then the 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 base really looks really good and so uh, you know traditional and authentic. So after you've done that, we are going to empty all of this into a bowl. And now to this, we're going to add. So this is how it looks after we've uh, nicely given it a good beat up and now to this we're going to add the butter and we're going to mix everything well together till it resembles some wet sand if you take some in your hand you know you'll be able to actually hold on hold the sand and butter mixture and now we're going to put all of this into our lined baking tray and we're going to give it a nice pat down and see that it's firmly packed into the tray and then we're going to freeze this into our freezer for at least one hour or even longer. Now in the meantime, you can squeeze uh, two large lemons or limes, enough to give you one fourth cup of lime juice. Now this is a lemon pie, so we really need to have the amazing lemon flavor. And along with it, you also get this lovely pale lemon color, a very natural color coming from this lemon juice. If you want to make it more tangy, you can go ahead and add a little more. Or if you want it less tangy, then add a little less. It all depends on how you like your lemon pie. I like just exactly the uh, juice of two large lemons or one fourth cup is enough. And now it's time to beat the cream. So we're going to pour the cream into a large bowl and using a hand mixie, a stand up mixie or a, a electric mixie like this one, you're just going to beat this till it's nice and light and fluffy. So I beat this for about at least 8 to 10 minutes till it was really nice and fluffy and light. Now to this we're going to be adding the condensed milk. I have a recipe for homemade condensed milk. I'll leave the link below. You can go and check it out. But today I'm using store-bought and I'm going to be adding the lemon juice. And we're going to give all of this a nice whisk using our spatula. And then you can see that it has a very nice and pale lemon color. Now I like this color, but if you want to go ahead and add a little bit of uh, lemon uh, color that is gel, gel food color, then you can go ahead and add it if you want to get a little more brighter yellow. But somehow I like this very pale and natural uh, lemon color or yellow color. So. You can add whatever color you want. And now you can see that our biscuit base is nice and set and firm. And now all we have to do is add this lovely creamy mixture to the biscuit base. And then try to get all of that inside. It's so delicious. In fact, you can just freeze it in a container and you know you get some lovely lemon ice cream. 
and uh, then taking us uh, taking your spatula or a knife you have, can just you know even it out so that it looks really good you can give it a pat down and then just using you know a knife or uh, anything which will just give you a nice leveling you can just level it up so it looks nice and pretty you can even leave it as it is you know give it some swirls you can do anything you like with it be creative and then comes the very difficult part of waiting so you're going to freeze this for the minimum of 1 to 2 hours or as long as you can uh, freeze it even overnight will do and then after waiting patiently you can see that it's all set and it's so delicious and you can see that it's got a lovely biscuit layer and a cream layer you can take a knife and then just you know go ahead and smoothen it up again to give it a nice finish or you could leave it as authentic as this and then just cut it up into long bars you can even go ahead and cut it up into smaller squares it's all up to you And then what I like to do is whatever crumbs are remaining in my baking tray, I just like to put it as a garnish on the top. That gives it a very rustic and uh, lovely look. And there it is, friends. And uh, a very important tip is you can freeze this and refrigerate it till you're ready to serve it to your guest, or you're ready to give it to your family and loved ones, or you want to eat it all by yourself. So it remains. best when it's frozen or refrigerated and you know even you're just ready to eat it you just take it out and have a big bite this is my kids ira and aryan's favorite dessert it doesn't even last for an hour it's all over it's like they when they see that mama has made lemon pie or lemon bars they finish it in less than an hour i'm telling you friends it's so so delicious that even you are going to just love it and want to make it all the time so i hope you liked today's recipe uh if you want to keep it as a pie and not cut it up you can do that too so do try out this recipe and let me know in the comments box below as to how you like this recipe do leave this video a thumbs up that way i will know that you liked my video and that you uh, want me want to show me to show you all some more desserts or some more um recipes and once you have done that don't forget to hit the red subscribe button and become a part of akshata's recipes family it's really a fun place to be lots of recipes more than 280 lots and lots of vlogs and lots of fun things happening and once you have subscribed to click the bell because that way you will get a message that akshata has put up a new recipe or she's come up with a vlog or some cleaning hacks i have all kinds of videos and i want to come up with even even more to keep this place really happening so do visit my channel guys to spread the word with family and friends and thanks for watching my video thanks for stopping by if you're new on my channel welcome to my channel and i hope you stick around so i'll sign off here and i'll catch you in my next video have a great day guys bye mm.